Jets, and it was never going to be totally smooth sailing for this Eagles visit today. Remember, we're talking about a team whose owner was reportedly recorded calling this presidency disastrous at one point. After the Super Bowl, a number of players said they just did not want to appear here. So rather than face the spectacle of getting snubbed, Donald Trump pulled that abrupt about face, uninviting the team itself, but allowing fans to visit, not necessarily for a celebration of the Super Bowl champions, but instead for what the White House is calling a celebration of America. For the Philadelphia Eagles, not a celebration, but a cancellation, uninvited from the White House after some players decided not to attend a planned photo op with the president. There's so much that's been kind of swirling around the administration that uh, I, I don't think I don't see it as beneficial at this moment in time to visit in a celebratory fashion. Donald Trump saying the Eagles disagree with their president because he insists that they proudly stand for the national anthem, adding the team wanted to send a smaller delegation, but fans deserve better fanning the flames of a cultural flashpoint after a season that saw some NFL players kneel during the national anthem in protest of police brutality and social injustice. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! Former Eagles player Tory Smith calling the president's move a cowardly act, noting not a single Eagles player took a knee during the regular season. Philly's mayor arguing this only proves that our president is not a true patriot, but a fragile egomaniac obsessed with crowd size and afraid of the embarrassment of throwing a party to which no one wants to attend. And Hallie, this is not the first time that the president has rescinded an invite to the White House, is it? No, not even the first time this year, Hoda. Think back to what happened at the end of February when the president disinvited the Golden State Warriors after they won the NBA championship, and something similar happened. Players said they didn't want to come. At the time, the Warriors instead went over to the National Museum of African American History and Culture for a tour. As for the Eagles today, the team seems to be trying to ride out the controversy. In a statement overnight, there was no mention of the words Donald Trump or White House. Instead, the Eagles said simply it was thrilling to win the Super Bowl, and they were happy that the entire Eagles community has come together to celebrate that.